There's a lot of really elaborate ways to make ribs, but I'm going to do this simply. I have a big green egg style Kamado. This one is a Vision Pro that I've had for a really long time. It's looking a little worn around the edges, but it works pretty good. So I got my coals going. I put in the heat shield and I put the tall rack on top. And now I'm going to let this heat up for a bit. I like to open the vents up all the way so that the smoke doesn't create soot on the meat. Now that it's all heated up and it's up to 250 degrees, I'm just going to quickly put some oil on the racks and I'm going to start the ribs off with the good side down. So I'm going to get a little color on the presentation side of the ribs and then I'm going to flip them. I'm going to turn my vents down because at this point in time I don't want it to get too hot. So here you can see I've got it right around 250 and I got my vent on the top open wide so all the smoke leaves quickly. These have been on for a while and there's a bit of color on them so I'm going to flip them over. And I'm still at 250 which is where I want to be. I'm going to make a simple sauce here. I grab some maple syrup and some sriracha sauce and I'm doing a one to one. So I've got about half a cup of maple, half a cup of sriracha, and that's all I'm gonna put on these aside from the salt and the pepper that I already did put on there. And I'm just gonna liberally apply this. I'm gonna apply the barbecue sauce multiple times. So I just wanna get a starter coat on here and I'm gonna let that sort of cling to the meat and then I'll do another coat see it's been cooking for a while and I'm going to put some more sauce on any spot where the sauce didn't really cling or the ribs will tend to sort of crack open so when they crack open you will just fill that spot in you can see my ribs are starting to come out from the side of the meat and that's how we're going to tell if the meat is done once it's pulled away from the bones we know it's nice and tender if you ever probe thermometer you want to get it up at around 190 degrees Fahrenheit inside the meat in the thickest part of the cut you can see the ribs are starting to crack here and these have been on for a while a little longer and I don't if I had more barbecue sauce I would probably fill in those cracks but you can see everything's nicely bubbling and the meats come away from the ribs lots of smoke here at the end and these are pretty much done now you can see they just sort of fall apart and there we go a beautiful set of ribs done the easy way.